Well, we at Sports Time Ohio are very proud to be your home for the Mid-American Conference and our MAC Game of the Week coming up on Saturday afternoon. What a rivalry it is. The Akron Zips and the Golden Flashes of Kent State. Honored to have Daryl Hazel, the head coach of Kent State, joining us now. Coach, thanks, to, uh, thanks for coming on the show. Welcome. Well, thanks for having me. I'm uh, always glad to be on your show. And uh, certainly glad to have you today. What an upset you pulled off. Maybe not in your own eyes. You got confidence in the great season your kids are having. But the fact is, bye-bye BCS possibility for Rutgers because of you. Well, it was, a, it was a good football game, and our team played extremely well. We thought we were two evenly matched football teams going in. And we felt if we can come out of that game with a plus one and a turnover margin, we had a chance to win the football game. And our kids played lights out. How do you keep the kids focused? Now, the, it, it had to be quite an emotional win. I understand he had a small contingent from uh, back here at campus, and you still went over, uh, uh, sang the alma mater. That had to be emotional. Very emotional for the crowd. There were a lot of parents and fans up there balling, and uh, I think <laughs> it's been something they've waited for for a long time, um, but it was good to see. So, obviously, the kids elated, uh, jubilant over this, uh, this great victory, great season that you're leading the team to. But now you've got another challenge. You've got to keep your kids focused because certainly every game is important and you've got the MAC championship in your sights. And there's no bigger game than your rivalry game against the Crosstown uh, team. And uh, Coach Bowden's doing a nice job over there. Even though the record might not indicate that, I think they're doing a good job. Um, but we better be ready for Saturday or we're going to be in for a huge, huge dogfight. You know, your season this year, Coach, uh, i got to ask you about a couple of games. First of all, no disgrace getting beat by Kentucky. Any Southeastern Conference representatives, a tough challenge. But did you use that loss as a motivational factor for your kids to get ready for the upcoming MAC schedule? Well, I thought that game, uh, there was about a four-minute stretch in that game where it got away from us. We were playing pretty good, and then we uh, didn't, mit didn't fit some gaps correctly and missed a couple of tackles, and before you know it, it went from 17-7 to 7 to about 50-7. to 7. Um, But it was a, one of those trying times throughout the course of the season where you got to pull together. The other game that struck my attention, comment on your victory over Ball State. That was a high-scoring affair. Huge win for this program. That might have been the biggest win for the program in my eyes because we had the ball with about a minute and 20 seconds to go on the six-yard line and had to drive the length of the field to win it. And our kids showed some poise and composure and some toughness and were able to do that in that last minute to win that football game. Talk about your senior quarterback, Spencer Keith. Does a good job of taking care of the, the football. He's probably a C to see plus arm strength and probably the same in terms of running the ball, but does a great job of getting in, us into all the correct plays. you got a couple of running backs, and that, that's the beauty, too, of your offense. You can balance it out with these two kids, the combo of Durham and Archer. Special, very special, and they play so well off of each other. One's a 240-pound uh, downhill runner, will, will knock you back, and the other one's a 4-2 he will take it every single time he has an opportunity. He's got a chance to take it the distance. And both of those kids are extremely humble and uh, really love preparing to win football games. Daryl, uh, the guys in the trenches uh, uh, never get as much credit as they deserve. Yet we all, that, that all of us that love football, uh, keep saying for decade after decade, games are won and lost in the trenches. You've got a special offensive line led by offensive tackle Brian Winters. Brian Winters is an unbelievable player for us. Elite tackle in the country. Uh, got, has great quickness, great power. Um, very smart on the edge and very physical. And he's going to play a lot of, a lot of uh, more days in his career than and, on Sunday. And comment about your defense because that's always a key as far as success in winning a, your division, let alone the conference championship and going to a bowl. Well, we're plus, plus 19 in the turnover margin. Those guys go and get the ball. And uh, it starts up front with Roosevelt Nix, our great three technique, who's uh, a phenomenal player. And then our, our, our second-level player, who's really elite, is uh, Luke Batten. And 
and he's from sideline to sideline and very physical. And then our, our safety is Luke, uh, Luke Wallet, who's done a great job for us this year as well. You know, it was noteworthy that you took this position at Kent State after all your years at, um, o -O at OSU. Uh, but heck, Coach, you're only in your second season. What do you attribute to turning this thing around so promptly? Well, there, I don't know if there's a, a one single thing, but there's a, there was good players here before we got here. I thought our staff has done a phenomenal job of putting them in the right position to make plays. And believe it or not, it was a belief system that uh, they didn't know how to win. We were trying, we're trying to teach them to win. We're, we're not there yet, but we're, we're moving in the right direction. i got to ask you, have you talked to Coach Trestle? And isn't it ironic you wind up at Kent State and now he's in an administrative he's in an administrative capacity at Akron. Well, Coach is one of my my uh, my biggest fan my biggest fans, and I'm his biggest fan. He's uh, he's an amazing man. I love that guy. Uh, we text all the time, and uh, but we're rivals right now this week. <laughs> Have you talked to him this last week? Uh, we had one text exchange. <laughs> well, that's going to be a fun side uh, story to the game. Coach, it should be a dandy. We're very excited about featuring it as our MAC game of the week this Saturday. Uh, Akron and Kent State. Good luck, uh, um, not only the rest of the regular season, but certainly your shot at winning the MAC championship. Thank you so much, and appreciate you having me on. Daryl Hazel, the head football coach at Kent State University.